I say in every single video I do, it's a little different type of video. I saw this done today and I thought it was really neat, so I was gonna um, post a video about it. So on this video, what you're gonna do is you're going to, we're gonna be taking a drawing, a kid's drawing or any kind of drawing, and we're going in cray crayons and we're gonna transfer it to a uh, fabric item, whether it be a t-shirt, you could probably do a hat, a tote bag, any kind of item. What you're gonna need is these transfer sheets here. They're the Jolie's Boutique Easy Image. I got these at Michael's. Um, this pack has the light and the dark in it. It's all they had when I bought these. They do have a red pack that it's all light, and I'd go with the light because I'm doing a white shirt, and it would show up a lot better on there. And actually, I'm doing a onesie because that's all I had available. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, and these, the uh, light one, has a yellow line down the back of the page. I hope, hopefully you can see that, it's a yellow line. So you're going to want to either print or draw on this side with crayon. And if you're just having them, they can freehand it, completely freehand. If you're gonna have them freehand, I would have them do an outline in black and then draw it that way. But that's totally a choice if you wanna do that. If you don't, just have them color. So what I did was I ran them through my printer, and this is inkjet paper but you don't have to have an inkjet printer. You can just color straight onto the paper. Just make sure they color on the side without the line. So what I did was I printed out some images. Here are easy images. And then, here it is colored. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut around your image because if not, if you put this whole piece on your shirt, you're gonna see the big block around it. So it's best to cut around your image. And what you else you'll need is just regular Crayola crayons. I would go with Crayola, it's better quality, and it they're cheap, they're super cheap, especially this time of year around school. So, this is what it looks like, this is after it's colored, this is what it looks like, and then this is after it's colored. And we did glitter on this one, there's glitter crayons, I don't know how well the glitter is going to actually transfer though. And then these are actual just freehand, like outline with black and colored, outline with black and colored. And uh, the other thing you're gonna need is an iron. Um, I have a heat press. I'm gonna use my heat press. It's not necessary, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. And so on a onesie, I always have a piece of cardboard because when you have a onesie, you have snaps, you have um, large hems, and when you go to either iron or heat press a onesie, you're not gonna get even pressure because of those hems and buttons. So I just slip a piece of cardboard in there like that. That way it raises your part that you're ironing up from those hems. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, oh, and also if you're doing, uh, like if you're doing an image like this, if it has words on it, make sure you reverse it. Because if not, it's gonna be backwards when you iron it down. So we're just gonna take our image, colored with crayons, put it on the onesie here or the shirt, either or. And then we're gonna press it down. I'm gonna do it for 10 seconds. I have this one set at 325, or 327. I'm, I'm not sure how hot an iron gets. So what I would do is I would do, I would do the hottest setting possible that you have. And also I'm going to, that's curling up. Let me see if I have, I have some heat tape in here. I'm gonna use some heat tape. You don't have to have heat tape. I'm just gonna use it because the sides are curling. If I was using an iron, it would be easier because you could just start in the middle and move out. But with me pushing this down on there, if it's wrinkled, it's gonna get crayon all over the heat press. So I'm gonna use a piece of heat tape here. I'm just gonna push this down for about, I wanna make sure that that image is completely under that cardboard so it gets even pressure on the whole image. Press this down for about 10 seconds. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna want it to cool after you've pressed it. There we go. So we're gonna set that one to the side pull our cardboard so it'll cool faster. I'm gonna go ahead and do the butterfly here. Come on, keep 
first. That gets some of the wrinkles out real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna want to put that. Put a little crooked, like that, sort of fit on my cardboard. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put some. The wings are curling up, so I'm just gonna put some heat tape on there. those wings around. Like I said, if you're using iron, you would never, there's no need to use heat tape because you could just start in the middle with your iron and move out. You'd have more control on it. So let's push this down for 10 seconds. That one's already cool. So as soon as we get through here, we'll go ahead and pull that tractor off. So there's the butterfly, we get that pressed down. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to peel the backing paper off here. And it, once you get it started, it usually just peels right off. It's on there and uh, with this there's like a protective coating because what it's doing is it's transferring that protective coating on there so I'm thinking I'm thinking the glitter will show up on this one or I'm thinking the glitter will stay on I don't I mean I don't know it was just regular crayons that they did the demo with yeah you can see the glitter in this I don't know how well you both see it on the camera but you can see the glitter and all it is, is it's Crayola glitter crayons hard to get this there we go and if there's any backing paper left on here I'm sure it'll come off in the wash because it's just paper you can probably wet it and peel it off I'm thinking the longer you press it the easier the paper comes off so that's probably something I'm learning here as well I just thought this was I thought this was the neatest thing I've seen in a long time who knew who knew you could transfer crayons? There you go. See? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to flip this tractor one over and I'm going to put a, just a protect, just a piece of paper down so I don't get, melt that to my phone here. So I'm going to put my um, cardboard back in there. So to keep, give me an even, even pressure. Take our little basketball here, stick it down on there. We're gonna heat it for 10 seconds. Then we'll do the flower on the back of the butterfly here. And these uh, packs of paper, they're $9.99 at Michael's. Like I said, the light pack, the light, it's a whole pack of light, 10 sheets. It's $9.99, it's in a red pack. I'll pin it in the video, I'll pin a picture in the video. So you know what you're looking for. So there's that one. We'll peel that off in a second. Go ahead and get this one ready here. This is a quick and easy. This is really quick and easy. I think the longest part will be to, for the for them to color or draw. I mean, I haven't tried markers or anything, so I'm not sure if markers would work. But the crayons work really well. And if you're doing kids, I mean, that's kind of, you saving the artwork. And you can print out like these. I just went online and typed in coloring pages and printed out, and I just did the simplest ones I could find. I'm sure you could get really detailed with them. Just when you cut it out, if you don't care to have that box around it, it's no big deal. You can do a full page coloring page. But I just wanted to cut it out, um, cut around it so it would look better. But when you're dealing with kids or anything, what does it matter, you know? That's kind of part of the fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these down here real quick. But yeah, this is just a quick and easy little thing here. Take that down. Pop that down for 10 
seconds. And then here's the basketball. Like I said, this one is just completely free-handed. So, hang on one second here. This, this basketball is completely free-handed. You can see the black lines it was drawn and then colored in. And then this one was the printed image, sort of like a coloring sheet. And then on this one, this one was the coloring sheet, and then this flower was the free hand. So we'll get that peeled off there. Clean the trash up here. But like I said, you could do an iron. I would do like a cotton setting. You want to get really hot. And then, uh, matter of fact, on the, on the directions, it says, um, let's see what it says. I believe it says a cotton or polyester setting. It's, these are made for, these are for cotton or polyester stretch fabric. Wash before applying transfer, highly recommended. Um, iron, hard, sturdy surface. Just make sure after you iron it, you let it cool before you peel the paper. If not, you'll peel your design up. Um, I don't really see it saying stretch fabric or light fabric. And it, you, the light fabric you can do like um, yellow, yellow, but I just did white because it's going to show up better. I don't see on there, but I'm pretty sure a cotton setting. You want to get cotton, no steam. Don't use any steam at all. And I mean, it just, I mean, every little detail that you color on that page, that's exactly what's going to come out on here. I just thought this was so cool. Like I said, you don't need that heat tape. I'm just using it because I have it and it's there. You don't need a heat press. You can use an iron. The paper's $9.99 and then you can use an old t-shirt or you can buy t-shirts super cheap. Especially this time of year, crayons, shirts, everything's so cheap because it's back to school time. guys enjoyed this video it's just a little quick video I know I kind of got randomness on my see there that's the one that's freehand that's the one we printed out as a coloring sheet printed out as a coloring sheet and freehanded and just uh, like I said you just want to after you after you color it cut around your image and then just heat press it on there and you'll want you will want to wash they recommend you wash your garment before you put it on there but that's totally up to you and like I said, I use the glitter crayons on this one. And you can see, it's gonna be hard to see in the camera, but you can see the actual glitter in there. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you find this useful or as neat as I did. And I'll link, I'll link, put a link below for the heat transfers. And I'll also put a picture of the one with the red that's all light fabric. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, and see you next time.